Hey guys, welcome back once again. Um, finally got the uh, layout, or what's already built of the layout, uh, brought down to my college apartment. Uh, I have the first table up here, the other two are sitting right there. I uh, just wanted to show you the progress so far, um, show you kind of how I did it, and maybe how it's going to look when it's done. Um, I'll, uh, I'll put more in this video. As we go, this will be a kind of a progress video. By the time the video is done, all the bench work will be done too. So uh, it should look a little bit better than this even. Um, but anyway, the way I did it is I put a carriage bolt on each side, each corner. Uh, and then they're mounted on two by two legs with a brace going the opposite direction on each leg. Sorry for the shakiness, as you can see. And then they'll just be clamped together uh, at the joints. Um, brought a whole bunch of my rolling stock and some easy track down just because I'm not going to be able to get hand laid track done, well, fletch track I should say, done uh, right away just because a little low on funds. But uh, yeah, um, there's been a change in the track plan that's pretty big. Uh, I decided not to do Genesee Valley Transportation and instead I'm going to do uh, the painted post uh Norfolk Southern Southern Tier uh, painted post uh, switching layout basically is what I'm going to call it. Uh, it's going to have um, a bunch of stuff that would be down in that area. I just didn't see the point in doing uh, a Genesee Valley Transportation layout when my eventual layout is going to be the full Southern Tier line. So I might as well just do something with that for now. Um, so we'll talk about the track plan a little bit later and then we'll see what the progress looks like when everything's said and done. So, stay tuned guys. Well guys, as promised, here's the finished product. Uh, the L-shape is done. All the bench work's up. I uh, got a little bit of easy track down, just messing around. Uh, DCC system is kind of set up. Not where it's going to stay forever. Um, so far, so good. Well, uh, you've seen it fully set up. Um, we'll, uh, we'll go over the new track plan. Okay guys, so starting now you should see a image of the new layout track plan in front of you. I'm just going to go over it here real quick. I uh, won't get into so much detail as I did with the initial one. But uh, I did change the, the uh, track plan and also the area that I'm modeling um, I decided due to the fact that uh, I uh, ultimately plan to model the Norfolk Southern Southern Tier Line once I get to a uh, more permanent residence and am able to uh, have a larger layout I decided that instead of doing GVT it might be a little bit more cost effective to uh, go with just a smaller segment of the uh, southern tier line so in order to do that I selected the painted post area of the southern tier line uh, in that area Norfolk Southern has a small yard and uh, multiple different businesses that they service at that area uh, there's corn and glass uh, there's a Lando Lakes uh, butter creamery building there which um, I'm not sure if it's still serviced for real or not, but uh, it's going to be for the purposes of this layout. And there's also a lumber yard as well. Um, there's a couple other things in that area, but due to the fact that I really don't have a ton of space to be working with, those are the three that I decided to go with. Uh, up in the top left corner, you'll see uh, two switches. That's for corning. Uh, the next switch over moving towards your right is for Lando Lakes and then the final switch on the siding uh, will be for the lumber yard. Uh, the main starts on the bottom right hand portion of the layout and curves around. Uh, there is a switch going off to a passing siding which is prototypical per the um, actual layout of the track arrangements down there. Um, I did have to take some uh, 
liberties myself just putting in the passing siding that you'll see in the center of the bottom part of the layout um, you'll see the passing siding that's not really there but I, I needed a place to to be able to run around a set of at least uh, four cars and things like that so there you have it guys that's the uh, that's the new track plan uh, as of right now we're gonna keep the uh, easy track running on the layout just for a little while um, I don't really have the money to go out and buy all the cork road bed and all of the uh, fletch track that I'll need to put uh, this track plan that I just showed you in place I do have enough easy track however that I might be able to set up something similar to that um, in here just using that stuff so we'll see what happens uh, I got a lot more stuff to bring from home down here to school and uh, should be able to have some fun for sure so stay tuned for more uh, updates guys and uh, please uh, be 